Core installation. You can use this button to install reactor cores in a mech. Each core will increase at mech's maximum reactor power by one. Do I want to install it in him? This guy's pretty good. I like this guy. Gives me an extra move. So essentially, this is this works like FTL. I have enough power that I can use to then do this stuff. Um, if I get two power, I could do a dash, which looks cool. I could do plus two damage. What's this guy? Plus one damage. Plus one damage. And this guy is buildings are immune, which that is really good. Plus two damage. Plus one move. Okay, so. I think I'm going to put it in this guy, weapon modifications. You can use reactor power to activate weapon modifications. Click on a mod to power it. You can always click again to remove the power. Okay. So I can get an extra power if I do that, but there's no reason to. I think giving him an additional, he already has a plus one movement. This guy's crazy fast. So he gets plus two bonus per kill, extra bonus XP per kill. And he also gains an additional movement. So if we add a movement, he now can move five, which is really good. But I could give him two health too. He could tank things. Let's let's see that. Let's do that. And who's this guy? One extra reset turn every battle. How much XP does he have? That guy's three of 12. This is 17 of 25. I think I'm going to replace these two. What did that guy give me? None. He had no skill anyways. Okay, so that's that's a better way to do it. Cool. So I could do this to try to gain a power, which I think I missed out on that one money. So that's not that great. Defend the artillery support. Protect the coal plant. Warning air support. Defensive shields active. I don't know. Okay, let's do this one. So we need to defend this artillery unit and we need to protect the coal plant. Okay. Let's put this guy here, this guy here, and this guy here. Just because. Because I'm not sure quite how to place these guys yet. Mission start. Here we go. This time I can do this. What do you mean this time? Um, I want to push this guy into that, so move him here, do this. That's, I've already screwed up. I forgot that's not how that works. I can actually push him with this guy, which might work really, really well. Also, they have plus two health. If I can get rid of this dude, that might be better. Do the extra one damage, which is great. Can I use this dude? Oh, I can't. Oh, that's great. But he doesn't have a knockback, does he? No. But he does have two hits that he does, which is really quite good. If I use the artillery dude, Could knock him back with the tank. If the tank is here, that doesn't work. Let's undo the move. I want to knock this guy into that. I think the best way to do it might be with this. Where can this guy move? He can move here. Let's move him here, knock him into that. Move him here, knock him. Crap. Can I move him anywhere else? Not really. And I don't want to shoot the building. I should have moved. I should have done this first. Okay. You know what? I am going to reset turn again. <laughs> Look, I'm learning. I had the right idea, I think. I do want to use this guy to fire here to move him out of the way. I want to... I 
can actually... Oh, I need one extra space in order to do damage with him. Uh, let's move him here. We're going to do the exact same turn that we did last time, except not screwed up. And I'm going to leave him right where he is at. Which means we're only getting one to spawn. Okay, that works for me. That's rough. How much HP does this guy have? He has three. Uh, I can actually move him over here and kill this dude. Or this guy can kill him like so. Perfect. This guy... What's his firing line? Pretty far. So if I do this, that'll push him back. I don't want to do that. I, I would prefer to block a spawn than do anything else. So I'm okay with that happening the way it is. I'm actually okay with ending my turn the way it is. Wow, that's surprising. You think you would want to do as many actions as possible. And maybe I'm making the wrong choice there. Okay, that's not so bad. Oh, that's not so bad at all. Okay. Um, this guy can shoot this dude if I need to. If I shoot that building, it's going to hurt the building, which is unfortunate, but it would knock both of those guys away. This guy, thankfully, is not going to act. This guy can shoot, knock him back one, but he would still get hit. This guy can kill this guy, so let's do that. That frees up this mech. Oh, that, that actually is kind of convenient. So, how do I want to do this? This guy is too far to do anything. This guy is not. If he was free, he could knock him back. Like so. I have, th I have three dudes and I have three actions. So, I need to be messing with one dude on each action. Or at least two dudes with one action. Or two, sorry, two actions with one dude. So I could move him and fire, but that's not going to do anything. I need this guy to be knocked back, which means I need this guy free. So if I do this... Okay, so I can move him... Here, I can actually kill this dude, but it would hurt my own guy. But I don't think that would be the worst thing ever. Which then would allow me to do this. I think that is okay. Oh, wait, he hasn't attacked yet. And I can knock him in. That's a double whammy. I think that's the best I could do. So he's going to actually attack him, and then he's going to get hit by the spawn. That's about as good as it'll get. So... I can move this guy one. Two damage there. Move this guy forward. Kill that guy. And finish this guy off. Bam. Done. I did it. Yay, me. <laughs> 
This game is really fun. It does require quite a bit of tactics, which you would expect. And I got both. I got both the power, which is good, and the star. Destroy the dam, kill at least seven enemies. That sounds a lot easier than what I've got going on. Plus, I like money. Let's do the money. We got Brain Bug, which only has two HP. This guy can kill him. So we're going to spawn him close. We want to spawn him over here. And sure, we'll spawn him back here because he's a little weaker. Okay. I'm not gonna knock him back twice, but I will get rid of his HP buffs that he's giving them. If I shoot him, is he gonna get, does he only attack melee? I believe he does, he does. So I can shoot him and I can just move this guy out of the way. And that will move my dude in a different line, which actually might be better. Okay. Couldn't kill those two flying bugs, but they both have one HP. We'll see where they go. We might be able to knock them into each other. And that's the dam I need to kill, apparently. Ah, crap. So... That guy has the one HP. Let's just get rid of him. I can knock this guy back and instantly kill him. Or... I can't, I can't get to the dam because I have to move around the zone of control here. Very interesting. This guy needs to move and kill that guy. So, in a way, I have to do this so he can move back up here so he can fire like that. I gotta kill this dam somehow. So we have two guys that just spawned. This guy is now stuck, kind of. How much damage do I need to do to this? To... And this guy... I think I have to do this. I just gotta kill this guy. But I could do it without dealing damage to my let's undo move if I shoot like that he'll be moved but I think that's fine aha my mechs can swim at least that guy can I need to block this shot this tank is the best option And that's my turn. Cool. I need to kill two more enemies, which I can do on this next turn. Cool. I think we could do this pretty easy. As long as that shot doesn't go through or that one, I need to get rid of that guy. I need to knock him away somehow. And I can't move him that far. But I can move this guy there so what if I do this that gets rid of that guy this goes here no that's not gonna work would he even be able to move that far I don't think he can 
think I'm gonna lose a power. Let's reset turn. Let's see if he could have moved all that way. I should have taken the movement. Shouldn't have taken the. He can't even move all that way. Damn it. Can this guy? Nope. Can this guy? Nope. Well, that sucks. Uh, the best I think I can do is to just kill these guys. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to lose the power. Damn it. Not ideal. That guy spawned it way down there. It was kind of a big pain in the butt. That gives me a couple extra things, stars, which is good. We secured that. Warning. Seismic activity. Drawn out by your offensive against the Vex, the Hive Leader is assaulting the corporate HQ. Some kind of Vec abomination is approaching our headquarters. Whatever it is, it must be stopped. So these are destroyed by the Vec. Right, so that's what it was saying by saying, like, you can't save everything. So I need to destroy the Hornet Leader and I need to protect the corporate tower. That's the corporate tower. That's the Hornet leader. Well, this dude is really suited for killing things. So let's let's put these two here and this guy here. We have some ice so we can get across pretty easy. But of course, so can they. Ideally, I would want... Crap, he's going to attack that. Right. Inspect units. When confronted with new enemies, be sure to learn about their abilities. Hold down left control while mousing over to examine. Right. He's massive. Massive units can walk in water, but water will prevent shooting. Flying. Flying units can move over any terrain tile. And Hive Leader. These are the most powerful Vec immune to water. They could be more challenging to kill. Kind of want that guy shooting there, but this is a better option. So he's going to attack there. He's going to attack his own dude. How much damage does this guy do? I don't know. I kind of want to take the shot for him. If I can knock him this way, and then I can move him here and knock him this way. That brings him down to 2 HP. Wow, that's really good. I'm okay with taking some damage. They're tanky. He shoots his own guy. Beautiful. We got a couple of extra dudes. Extra 2 HP, though. Not ideal. Um, I could move him there and shoot. So I have to get rid of this bug. I'm pretty much on this turn. And I can move him out of the way. I think I see the play here. If I go here and I fire... Like this, he will attack his own dude. This guy can move here. Attack like this. Which does the two HP. He will attack his own dude, I think. Attack order. He will attack first. This guy can move here and attack. Mech is submerged, which means he can't fire like that. That is unfortunate. I thought I could. It's going to do, what, two damage? But he's going to do that damage regardless. Ah, this changes things. I did not know I couldn't fire in water. I can't use his ability in water either. But if I move him here, I 
I think either way I might lose a power. But I have to do this. I think I have to do the same play I just did. Because he has to kill this guy. We can't lose that much power. This is the better play. And I don't think he can shoot through there. Let's find out. Nope, because the building's in the way. That's not going to help. He's going to fire regardless of what's in the way. That's not going to help either. And I think once I fire, he's done. Yeah, I know I have an action available, but I can't do anything with it. So. That's unfortunate. That sucks. I'm really low on power. That Well, that works for me. Jeez. Watch out, bros. I mean, this guy does a ton of freaking damage. I have to kill the leader. He's only going to do one damage anyway, so if I do this, it kills him, but it knocks him out into that. If I do it from this angle, I do have an extra reset turn, so let's do this. He's going to attack my mech. I can maybe kill this guy. So if he knocks him in, that would do one damage plus the two. I'm okay with this guy getting hit. I'm not okay with this guy doing damage to more power. Oh gosh, I'm going to lose more power, aren't I? Because I can at max do one damage on each of these guys. So I have to kind of choose here. I have a, what is it? What is this? What is this 15% chance? Percent chance any building will resist damage. Gain power when your power grid is full to upgrade its defense. So. Either way, I'm gonna kill a couple things here. Can I? Uh, no, I can't move really in the way here without Ah, no, I just thought of something. Even better. Nope, that's still going to do the exact same thing. Because I need to be on this line in order to hit him. So I have to knock this guy back into there so that this way this guy can do this. No, I have to take the damage. Because I need to save that one. Well, that's unfortunate. That sucks. Please, 15%. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amazing. This building resisted damage. The chance of a building resisted damage is shown in the right of your power meter. <laughs> Literally a 15% chance. That is funny. Right. I can kill pretty much both of these, right? Because if I fire here, that guy will get knocked into that. This guy can do that. Which levels him up. He's going to do one damage. This guy can move here and fire at him to knock him away so he doesn't do the damage. Enter. I think we just won. been a little bit better but not bad I got eight things he got uh, plus three grid defense Wow grid defense is increased by three this affects the chance of resisting building combat so I'm at 18% now. cool understood